most Muslims you come across, you ask them about Tawheed, they'll say Allah is one. They'll say, you know, you only worship one. Is shirk something heavy in Pakistan? Is it like a trend? In one of my dream, Allah told me, Kasim, this world was never filled with shirk like this as it is today. And the shirk uh, form is everywhere. When Allah and Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam teaches me, then I say to myself, even in a Muslim country, it's, it's very hard to avoid shirk and its form. And today we, in the name of art and culture, we uh, a lot of make uh, uh, some decoration pieces with animal shapes. And if you go out uh, in the market, in the clothes, uh, you can see the statues in uh, in the market, you can see a lot of uh, pictures, unwanted pictures. Even in every product, you can see there is some pictures on it. So these are all form of shirk. In one of my dream, Allah told me that Kasim, uh, Hindu also uh, hang their uh, uh, fast goat pictures on their walls. And if, uh, if Muslims... Uh, hang the pictures on their walls also and they will see that then uh, what is the difference between Hindus and Muslims they both uh, seeing the pictures these are uh, these uh, shirk and its form is uh, m- maybe many people don't care about it but uh, Allah care about it if you see Japanese people bow down in front of others that is uh, also the form of shirk and uh, uh, if you see that uh, Imran Khan, just before the election, he make a sajda to uh, grave. It's a big form of shirk. And that's why uh, Allah is, uh, was not helping Imran Khan. That's why Imran Khan got failed. So if the leader of uh, a Muslim country do a shirk like this, then the whole nation will follow it and they will not care about uh, shirk and its form. They will take it seriously and they will never uh, got successful because Allah will not help us. If we want Allah help us in everything, then we should avoid shirk and its form and uh, we have to remove shirk and its form from our countries. So uh, then Allah will help us and uh, we Muslims uh, start to successful. So crazy that you say that, but I do know that the British, um, they tried to keep the Pakistans um, illiterate, Pakistanis illiterate, to try to get Islam out of them and to host a, 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 a generation where they wouldn't know their deen. So on accident, they'd commit shirk and they make things up. So, alhamdulillah, I'm glad, I, I didn't know it was like that in Pakistan. I um, the same thing for my people, our literate, the they try to keep our, our literacy very low. But now what about the tribalism in Pakistan? Because I know Indian and Bengali Muslims, they're not as tribal. Um, did you dream say anything about tribalism? In my dreams, I see when the true Islam of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi spread to the whole world, then Muslim will be united again. And... Uh, and the regardless of uh, race, ethnicity, and skin color. And we also uh, remove uh, racism and uh, discrimination. In my dreams, I see when Pakistan removed shirk and its form, then Allah helped to Pakistan, and Pakistan started to grow, and Pakistan uh, become a peaceful country. And many, many of Muslims around the world migrate to Pakistan and to help to spread to Islam of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and there is there, and we will take care of them, and there is no racism, no discrimination, and the whole Muslims uh, live like a one body. In my dream, uh, Allah told me, Kasim, your dreams are not for only Pakistan. Your dreams are for the whole mankind and to the whole world. So. Uh, Many of uh, non-Muslims also message me, casting, we are waiting. If your dreams are true, then we will convert to Islam. Because if my dreams come true 
and these genes are from Allah, then that is the valid evidence that there is a divine God who is our creator and the only one worthy of being worshipped and Islam is the truthful religion.